when he went out to that world record. That was a brilliant season, uh, totally and utterly unbeatable. But now, in 1998, I believe he's come back to that sort of form, growing in confidence all the time. And this is a title he so desperately wants to win for the first time. Just watch how quick Jonathan Edwards is on the runway. It's absolutely incredible. And when he gets it right, nobody can touch him. It's long, it's a massive jump by Jonathan Edwards. Oh! Well, we were talking about Gothenburg in the World Championships when he broke the world record and hoping that he's in that sort of form. He's certainly back to his best, slightly over the limit in terms of the wind, the allowable wind at 2.1 meters per second. But I tell you what, the spectators on that side of the arena, I doubt any of them have ever seen a bigger jump in their lives. Absolute perfection on the board. Yes. And it just seems to go on forever. Oh, incredible. It'll be a championship record, there's no doubt about that. What a superb start. One, two, three. Makes it look so simple. It's 17 meters 84. And look at him. He's taking it all in his stride. He looks so calm. That's going to be tough to beat. And boy, does he look ready now. A little bit off balance, but it's so superior to everybody else. A little bit of forward rotation on the end. It's a valid jump, but it didn't quite get the timing right, and that will be... No, he's got it all wrong. He's run through, and Jonathan has got it, and he knows he's got it, and now he has the luxury of a jump as European champion. And over the last half hour, with so much British success going on around the stadium, I've been watching him from the commentary box through binoculars, and he's been watching Steve Backley. He's been watching Mick Hill and Mark Roberson. They walked past him and said, come on, Jonathan, we want you to win as well. And of course, he was watching that fantastic display in the 4 by 400 meter relay. Is the new European champion. The very last jump of the competition now. Spot on the board. Oh, he's done it again. Can you believe it? The spectators are in total awe of this guy. He's come in for some criticism in the press. Over the last couple of months, perhaps questioning his motives in terms of chasing around the world on the Grand Prix circuit. But when it comes to the championships, medals, it is what it's all about. He said he wanted to win the Europeans, then the Commonwealth. And to be honest, this is no disrespect to any of the other athletes in the competition. There was really only one man in it at the end. Totally and utterly dominant. Oh, it's just been announced. 17 meters 99. It seems almost an insult to say it's a championship record. He smashed the championship record. There's only a small handful of athletes have ever jumped further. I think there's only one or two. And that means, Paul, in these championships, Britain have won nine golds, four silver and three bronze. Phenomenal, and what a way to finish. Jonathan Edwards, the last performer in these European Championships in Budapest, the very last athlete, and it was a fantastic performance. The consistency was back, the competitiveness was back, his confidence was back, and the gold medals are back. Just one centimetre short, of 18 meters. 
It's been a privilege. Jonathan Edwards, the championship record with a huge leap. Denis Kapustin deposed as champion. Dimitrov of Bulgaria, the bronze.